Hey guys, welcome on my YouTube channel, Everything Technical. This is Deepak. So today I am so excited because I am just going to create my own commands, own utility in Linux. Yes, Linux system. I am going to create my own command. It's not a joke. Yes, I am talking about ls command. This is the command. Using this command, we can create, we can define our own command in Linux system. So how we can create that, how we can persist that, what uh, what are the factors of this, we will see in this video. So okay, before I started, I want you to please do subscribe my YouTube channel. This is my channel, Everything Technical. So please do subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification. And if you have any query, any suggestion related to the video, so please do comment below the video. So let's start with the video. So first of all, if I want to ask, if someone want to ask, not I, if someone asking what is LAS and they want to know what is LAS so if I want to give the answer for that particular question so that time I'll give the answer simple answer LAS is a command or utility using that we can short or we can create a shortcut of any of the huge command we didn't get yeah, it's simple word using alias we can create and we can define a shortcut for any of the huge command so we will do that for example for example if someone ask someone is asking if you want to take the access of your server key based server so that time what you will do simply you will reply your answer i will do i will run the command ssh hyphen e key dot pem username at the rate ip or domain using this you will take the access so for example this is the command and this is the answer of that yes exactly this is the answer why we are not thinking we don't want uh, like for example if we don't want to use this command we don't have don't want to use every day we don't want to type this command instead of this can we define something to do the same but in one word yes of course using alias we can do that so that we are going to do that uh, that's only we are just going to do that yeah so how so basically I just want to give a basic idea alias using this command basically alias s1 I'm just taking example of this only taking the access of particular any server so I'm just taking the example okay so here alas this is the command after that what command you want what you are just going to create a shortcut so that will be a s1 so after s1 equal to whatever you are just going to pass whatever that command you will running in the background that want to be run in the background that you have to pass hyphen i sorry hyphen i Key dot pm sorry key dot pm user at domain dot com okay so this will be a command to define s1 as a shortcut of ssh hyphen i key dot pm user at domain dot com simple so we'll see in this how it's yes we have created successfully yes we have created now you can see this you will get as a command it is working also yes definitely you can see it is working but yes what it is if I'll do control D yes I did control D and again I just open the terminal and if I want to use the same it is not working why because there is two way one is a temporary one is a temporary that what you are just uh, using for example you just use that command and you have just created the term uh, use uh, created the s1 alias for a temporary basis temporary basis in the sense that same alias will work in that particular terminal from that you have created and if you want to process this you have seen that how it's working when you will uh, create a alias that is working for the same terminal when you will close that terminal and again just reopen again one new terminal in that you were passing the s1 command that time it, it it was not working now you want to just persist this persist this in in the sense you want to use that command in future for example after reboot 
you have closed the terminal you want to use any other terminal in that you want to use the same so that time what do you have to do the same thing just copy it just copy the same and pass the entry pass the entry in where you have to pass the entry here bash.rc so basically this file you will get in every user's home directory so if you don't have this uh, this file in your home directory that you can see my uh, users creation video in that you will get how you can uh, get this file basically this file is uh, avail under etc skull yes in this directory you will get that file so you can copy that file no problem so basically you have to pass the entry in this file bash rc in this anywhere you have to just pass the entry so i'll just go ahead and i'll pass in last of the file okay so here i just want to pass the entry here i have passed the entry and what do you have to do do the same on the terminal did that now it's working again started working so what i what what i'm just going to try to do i'm just trying to do it now you can see i have closed the terminal and after closing the terminal i am using the same again a new terminal in that it's still working yes so you can do the same way to persist to create a command so this is what instead of writing ssh hyphen i key name username at the right ip address domain name.com whatever blah 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 so using uh, like doing this big task why we are have to do this big task one time we have to set it down and we have to create a lazo for all this all these kind of the stops so that time we can easily s1 s2 s3 kind of whatever we want to define that particular command that will work as a command but in a background it it is working your uh, that huge command so this is the video hope you like this video yes many of the peoples were knowing about this they are knowing about this particular ls command how it is working but yes some of the people who were knowing but sometimes if we are not using any of the command or utility that time we are just draining that so that time we have to brush up so that time you will remember hope you like this video please do like please share with your uh, required person like who having requirement of this kind of videos just share with them and also it's not only about for them only uh, this command uh, this utility can you can be used by anyone who is not in linux only they can use uh, basically maybe it's working into the mac as well i'm not sure about that i didn't do any practical uh, practice in that but yes sure i'm i'm little bit sure about that uh, it is working in that also so we can uh, do that we can do the same in mac also so please share with your friends families and whoever required this kind of in, uh, information and also please subscribe my youtube channel this is the channel again this is the channel please subscribe thank you for watching